Welcome to another episode of Option Greeks. Let's simplify option trading by understanding these Greeks. Thanks Josette again for upvoting on a deep dive on Gamma. In this video, I'm going to use my design thinking skills to do a deep dive on Gamma. I'll go through what it is, how it works, why it doesn't matter, and how I can use this new information to better buy calls or puts. This is the agenda for Gamma today, and we will go down the list one by one. Ready to learn and become a pro in option trading? Let's begin. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley and today I'm here to use design to explain Gamma, one of the five common Greeks in option trading. And you know my style, you don't need to smash the like button just yet, do that in the end if you find this video useful or insightful, hold me accountable. Now without further ado, let's dive right into Gamma. As I mentioned in the previous video, Gamma describes how much the delta will go up for every single dollar the underlying stock increases. If you don't know much about Delta yet, I highly recommend you to check out the deep dive on Delta, which I posted last week. I put a card in the corner and a link in the description down below. This video will make more sense to you if you know what Delta is and how Gamma connects to it. So Gamma itself does not directly affect the option price. It only affects Delta. And Delta is the one who will have a direct impact on how quickly the option price changes. So this is the relationship, the connection to know if you trade options on Robinhood. We can draw maybe a dotted line and say gamma indirectly influence the option price. Here's a good analogy. Again, high school physics class, if delta is the velocity, then gamma will be the acceleration. How fast the velocity is increasing or decreasing. If you forget about all the high school physics, then never mind, let's continue. Gamma and call option contract. In the case of call options, for every single dollar the stock increases, the call option contract price will go up by the delta amount. And at the same time, delta will also go up by the gamma amount. On the other hand, if the stock drops $1, then of course the call option contract price will go down by the delta amount. And also, delta will drop by the gamma amount. By looking at this, we can deduct that if the stock goes in the direction to our favor, gamma will help accelerate the option price growth. If I were to buy a call option contract, of course I want the stock to go up so that my call can also go up in price so that I can profit from it. As the underlying stock goes up, gamma will make delta bigger every time the stock goes up $1, which means the bigger the option price will go up for the next dollar the stock increases. You will also notice the pattern, the higher the stock goes up, the more in the money this call option contract becomes. If you remember from the Delta Deep Dive video, the more in the money a call option contract is, the higher the Delta will be. Why is that? The Delta becomes higher because of Gamma, as Delta will go up by the Delta amount for every dollar the stock increases. Now you can see how all these are connected, related, in the money, high Delta, and Gamma, which should help you see a clearer picture of what option trading is. Next, Gamma and put option contracts. Of course, the relationship is also true for put option contracts. If I were to buy a put, this 1100 Tesla put, for example, the math, the relationship works out the same way. Let's say Tesla the stock goes up $1 from 1067.05 to 1068.05. Delta will go up by the gamma amount, so the new delta will be negative 0.8443 plus 0 0.0084, the gamma, which will become a negative 0.8359. If you just look at the numeric value, the absolute value of delta, it actually goes down, which makes sense because this is a put. So if the stock goes up by $1, this 1100 Tesla put is actually becoming less in the money, and therefore a smaller delta. On the flip side, if Tesla stock drops $1 from 1067.05 to 1066.05, its delta will go down by the gamma amount, which will be negative 0.8443 minus, because it goes down, right? 0 0.0084, which will become negative 0.8527. Again, just compare the numeric values, it actually goes up. It makes sense because the stock goes down, it's good for the puts. If I buy a put, I want the stock to go down. That's how I can make money, that's how I can profit. Looking at this number, and looking at how delta changes by the gamma amount, if the stock is going in the direction that I hope that I want, for put in this case is to go down. Gamma will help accelerate the put option price to go up, which is good for put option buyers. Next, the range and the value. Gamma is always positive. We can start with cost. We can look at Tesla 
in the money call is positive. At the money call, also positive. Out of the money call, still positive. It's also true for the puts. In the money put, positive. At the money put, positive. Out of the money put, still positive. Generally speaking, gamma tends to be a small number, but not all the time, and I will explain that in the next chapter. This at the money 1090 Tesla call option contract, for instance, has a gamma of 0 0.0059. We can try another one. $1,200 out of the money Tesla call is even smaller, 0 0.0023. How about in the money? $900 Tesla call, even smaller, 0 0.0004. What does this tell us? Small gamma means for every single dollar test of the stock goes up, the delta of all these call option contracts will not go up very drastically. It only goes up by a little bit. It gains a little boost. It's still a good thing considering that if I buy a call and the Tesla stock goes up, gamma will suddenly help me make more money. Well, how high can gamma get to? As you remember from my previous video, again, I keep referencing the Delta deep dive video. It's a really good one. Check it out. Delta for calls has a range of zero to one. One being the max Delta. Because of that, gamma technically cannot be more than one. Let me use a very extreme call option contract example. Let's just say delta is zero, gamma is 1.5. If this is the case, and if the underlying stock goes up by $1, that means the delta will increase by the gamma amount, which will be zero plus 1.5 equals 1.5. But we know delta is capped at one. So gamma can only be capped at one as well. Therefore, by this logic, gamma has a range about zero to one. This will also be true for puts, in which delta has a range from negative one to zero. Again, another extreme example. If delta is zero and gamma is 1.5, if the stock goes down by one dollar, delta will go down by the gamma amount which will be 0 minus 1.5 equals negative 1.5. But again, we know delta for puts is capped at negative 1, and therefore gamma can only be 1 at max. The range of gamma, high, low, we can tell how stable the delta will be. In these screenshots, they all have very small gamma. So delta for all those three call option contracts will be very stable, meaning delta will not change by a lot when the underlying stock price, share price changes. We can also prove this by doing some elementary school math. And I copied the delta and gamma over for the 1200 strike, 1090 strike, and the 900 strike Tesla calls, which have a delta of 0 0.1087, 0 0.5357, and 0.9835 respectively, and a gamma of 0.0023, 0.0059 and 0.0004. If Tesla the stock goes up by $1, all these deltas will go up by their corresponding gamma amount, right? So they will have a new delta of 0 0.11, 0 0.5416, and 0 0.9839 respectively. The change of delta in all these three call option contracts is not very drastic, right? It's only like 2.1%, 1.1%, and 0.4%. It's not like they're gonna go up 20 or 30%. So a low gamma tells us the delta will be very stable. One implication here is that if you want stable delta, then it's better to buy low gamma option contract. If you want an unstable one that has bigger swings, winning or losing more money, then a higher gamma one will help. Gamma in the money, at the money, and out of the money. Again, there should be a new video on in the money, at the money, and out of the money fairly soon. In this video, we will stay with the bare minimum. There are actually two factors that decide how high or low the gamma is. And let's go over the first one first. At any given time, if the strike price of an option contract is at the money, the gamma is always the highest. Meaning if the strike price is very, very close to the current stock price, the share price, gamma will be the highest. It will be higher than any other in the money options or out of the money options. You can look at it on Robinhood yourself, click into the one that is at the money, compare that to the one that is a bit out of the money, and another one that is a bit in the money. You can clearly see as soon as the strike price goes away from the share price, the stock price, gamma decreases. Delta does not drive the value of gamma. Option price does not drive the value of gamma either. The strike price of the option contracts and the current price of the stock are what drive gamma. So when you look at gamma, these are the connections to see. This is a very straightforward relationship. Next, time. The other factor that affects how high or low gamma is, is time. Specifically, how much time is left until this option contract 
expires. I took this screenshot on Monday, this at the money 1090 Tesla car expiring on Friday, December 31st, 2021. Four days away from expiration has a gamma of 0 0.0059. If we put that against the screenshot that I took on Thursday, which has the same expiration date, since I took it on Thursday, that means there's only one day left before it expires. It has less time left. We can see the at the money Tesla car, which will be the 1070 strike one because Tesla's share price is now 1073. Just FYI here, when we compare at the money cars across different dates, we don't always compare the cars with the same strike price, but the car option contract that is the closest to the stock price on that date or the ones with very similar delta, they should mean the same thing. Now you can see the gamma for this at the money Tesla car is 0.0159, 2.7 times as high as the at the money car on Monday. We can look at other option contracts too. Let's say out of the money Tesla cost, roughly delta 0.11 level of out of the money. If delta is less than 0.5, it's out of the money. This 0.1087 delta out of the money Tesla call on Monday has a gamma of 0.0023. A 0.11 delta out of the money Tesla call on Thursday has a gamma of 0.0. 006, 2.6 times as high as the one on Monday. So as time passes, gamma just increases across the board for all strike prices. This relationship here is also pretty simple. As the current time moves closer to the expiration date, gamma in all option contracts will increase. Another subtle detail here, gamma increases from in the money, at the money, out of the money, and time. Those two things do build on the top of each other. Since gamma is the highest when the option contract is at the money at any given time. And we also know that gamma will increase when it gets closer to the expiration date. Meaning at the money option contracts will get the biggest gamma increase as time passes. That's why you see the gamma for at the money Tesla call on Thursday is 2.7 times as high as the one on Monday versus the gamma for out of the money cost on Thursday is only 2.6 times as high as the one on Monday. We can look at this example from the TDM registry thing of green platform. We can use the on demand feature to go back in time and see what the price is, what the Greeks are like. This is the option chain for Square. If you look at the top right corner, it's September 3rd, it's a Friday, 12.30.06, California time, meaning it's 30 minutes before all these options expire. Gamma for at the money option contract is at its highest. We can look at the 270 Square call. It has a gamma of 0.5 two. This is very high compared to the one above that is 0.07 and the one below that is 0.05. If you look at delta, delta is 0.55. So if square, the stock, goes up $1, delta will add 0.52 to its value. The gamma amount, it's almost a 100% increase. This is an example of high gamma and how that would affect delta. And an example of how time and at the money will have an impact on the value of gamma. That's for at the money option contracts. Gamma for out of the money options will stop growing actually. And instead they will head to zero when the market closes on the expiration date. We can look at all those out of the money square calls, the 275, 280, 285, 290. They're either zero or going to zero, which makes sense because one, we know the price of any option contract will go to zero if it is out of the money at market close on expiration date. And two, theoretically speaking, if it's sold out of the money and there's not enough time left for the stock price to go up, gamma as a delta accelerator would not mean anything anymore. So it makes sense for it to go to zero under these conditions. To tie everything together, gamma defines for every single dollar, the underlying stock goes up. The option delta will go up by the gamma amount, whether it's a call or a put, which means gamma only affects Delta and delta is the one that affects option prices. So we can only say gamma indirectly affects option prices. There are two things that would affect gamma. First one is time. The closer an option contract is to the expiration date, the less time left, the higher the gamma is. Second, the strike price will also affect gamma. The closer the strike price is to the current share price or the more at the money this option contract is, the higher the gamma will be. High gamma just means there will be a bigger delta change if the underlying stock price changes. And that leads to a more unstable delta because that means there will be a bigger swing on the option contract prices. A low gamma means a more stable delta, which leads to a more stable option price change when the underlying stock price changes. All right guys, we have covered quite a lot today. Understanding gamma should help you see how it connects to delta and how it ultimately will affect the option prices so that ultimately you can use this new informed knowledge 
to make some sweet, sweet money. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. There are more related topics I plan to do in the future videos. If you have a strong preference of which one you want to see first, simply let me know in the comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have learned what you wanted, well, congratulations and hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you like free money and don't mind just two minutes of work, you can use my referral codes for one free stock from Robinhood, two free stocks from Weibo, $10 worth of Bitcoin from BlockFi, and lastly, $5 free cash from the Cash App. If you sign up for that, in addition, I will give you $2 worth of Apple stocks. Great deal. Dividend paying stocks. You can find all the referral codes, links, and instructions in the description down below. If you want to see more finance by design videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep using design to square up your finances. See you on the next video. Cheers.